Hi everyone, this is ADG here with the voice re review for Tomera's Delusions album. And, well, aggressive metal band, they haven't been around long. And it's only their second album, and really, this is a case of their second album being their second masterpiece. Um, I was absolutely blown away by their 2006 debut, Transcendental, and if anything, Delusions goes one better. Um, they're really heavy for a female fronted band um, her vocals are really melodic in the vein of what your traditional symphonic or gothic female fronted bands but the music is so much more complex and so much heavier I mean, as far as progressive metal bands that I like go they're probably the heaviest even heavier than Opeth at times um, really just the guitars are so bassy and brutal um, it's surprising really that they aren't being more accepted because um, a lot of people are just um, following them off as another gothic or symphonic type which they're definitely not I mean, looking at them you'd think gothic metal definitely but if you actually bothered to listen to them you'd hear something a hell of a lot more complex and forward thinking I mean they even incorporate jazz into their music I mean how many metal bands can get away with that I mean not many I mean, not many I've heard anyway, and someone's probably going to throw jazz grind in the comments at some point. I mean, I've never listened to it. I presume it's sort of jazzy, but I don't believe jazz grind is one of the grinds that's considered metal. But whatever, we're not talking about jazz grind. We're talking about Tomara, and um, yeah, um, really, um, there's not much I really can say about the album except. I think if you are a self-respecting metal fan, especially a progressive metal fan, you need to go hear this and the debut. Um, some songs you ought to look up um, from this album in particular are The Lie, The Glory of a New Day and Inside the Hourglass. Yeah, Those would be my personal favourite three, but you know, with an album this good, it's quite hard to pick. I mean, I'd say them because they're the ones They've got the highest play counts on my computer media player. But yeah, it's, it's really preference. I mean, I'm not going to hesitate to give this album a 10 out of 10 score, which is what I consider in my reviewing stats as a masterpiece of metal. Um, yeah, so let's just hope they can keep this up because the debut was amazing. This is amazing. Roll on album number three. Definitely. So it's ADG. Peace and go hear this album later.